the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 301, Luke 11 to 13. The right attitude during prayer. God opened the door of salvation through the channel of Jesus to all people, including the poor, the rich, male, female, young, and old. First point, Jesus taught how to pray and also taught what the right attitude was for prayer. One day, one of Jesus' disciples asked him an important question. This was how he was to pray to God. He wanted to know what prayer God would be happy to receive. Thanks to this question, the Lord's prayer was liquidated. When Jesus heard this question, he taught him and the last of his disciples how to pray. Jesus stressed that the person praying was to praise God and to first seek his kingdom and then follow up with their own hopes, daily bread and forgiveness of sin and to not be tempted. Jesus also taught them to be earnest throughout prayer. Jesus emphasized seeking, finding, and knocking. Jesus, who taught everything through parables, also taught about how God listens to prayer through a parable so that anyone was able to understand. Second point, Luke recorded that Jesus stated three reasons for rebuking the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. In Luke chapter 11, Luke recorded Jesus' prayer that he taught his disciples and then how the people had a lot to say after Jesus warded off the demon trapped inside a person. People had their theories as to how Jesus warded off the demon, but Jesus declared that it was done through God's mighty hands. Some people asked to see a sign from Jesus, but Jesus told them that they were only to see the signs shown to the people of Nineveh during Jonah's time. Next, Jesus rebuked the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. Jesus rebuked the Pharisees based on three points. The first was that although they practiced God's laws in theory, they did not actually have love towards God. The second was that they enjoyed prestige and were full of arrogance. The third was that they were hypocritical. Following on, Jesus rebuked the teachers of the law also based on three points. The first was that they taught others what the law was when they did not properly implement it themselves. The second was that they supported their ancestors, despite how they were the ones who killed God's prophets. The third was that they tried to stop others from receiving salvation. The teachers of the law were those who taught God's laws and then interpreted what it meant. However, they were abusing their status and power. They misused their knowledge and gave wrong interpretations. Both the Pharisees and the teachers of the law heard Jesus' rebuke but did not repent. Rather, they looked for an opportunity to kill Jesus. When Jesus taught about the kingdom of God, he referred to two types of people. The first were the educated people and to them, Jesus rebuked by saying, you have read, but referring to the laws and the prophets. The second were those who were uneducated about the law, and to them, Jesus said, you have heard, but. Third point, through the parable of a rich person, Jesus taught where we were to place our priorities. In Luke chapter 12, Jesus warned his disciples against the Pharisees who were hypocrites. 
and how the disciples were to keep their faith strong, so that God would protect them on the final day. Jesus moreover told them that the Sanhedrin assembly would come to make their lives difficult, but they were not to worry as the Holy Spirit was to guide them and be with them. During the time Jesus was teaching his disciples, someone came to Jesus and asked him how his family should divide their wealth among them. To him, Jesus used a parable of a wealthy man and taught him through this, where he was to place his priorities in life. The conclusion to this parable was the following. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be, with whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich toward God. Fourth point, Jesus taught what attitude Christians should have when preparing for the final moment. Jesus taught his disciples about what attitude they were to have as Christians as they prepared for the final moment. Jesus gave them two parables to help them understand. The first was the parable of the ravens. The second was the parable of the wild flowers. To the Christians who were preparing for the final moment, Jesus gave them the following teachings. The first was to seek God's kingdom. This was as God knows everything we need. The second was to sell their goods to provide aid. Jesus taught them to let go of worldly obsessions and seek the kingdom of God. The third was to be alert and awake as they waited. The fourth was to be prepared for debates and divisions. The fifth was to distinguish the generations. The sixth was to repent before the final day of judgment. Fifth point, there would come a day that the door of eternal salvation would close. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus spoke about how Pilate killed the people of Galilee and how 18 people died when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, and then taught that they would be severely judged if they did not repent. Jesus then used the parable of the factory and then healed the woman who had been sick for the past 18 years on Sabbath. Jesus then used more parables to explain the kingdom of God. When a person asked him about salvation, Jesus taught him how one was to enter the kingdom of God, and furthermore explained that not everyone was able to receive God's salvation. Jesus taught that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the prophets, and the foreigners who obeyed God were in the kingdom of God. Those who were excluded from the kingdom of God were those who did not obey or have faith in God. Now Jesus went ahead and predicted his death and the fall of Jerusalem. The reason the Pharisees gave information about Herod to Jesus was not because they were concerned for Jesus, but to make him afraid. However, Jesus declared that Herod would not be the reason for his death, but he would die in order to fulfill what was written in the Old Testament, and then he would resurrect again. Jesus then predicted the fall of Jerusalem and lamented. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. 
Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.